What's going on, man? What's going on with you, bro? Chilling, man. Just trying to stay safe out here. You trying to stay safe? Yeah. How about you? Chilling, chilling, chilling. So listen, man. Let's let's go back. Let's go back. Um, you play for you. You play for PPO, man. You was a star at PPO. Bro. <laughs> you, nah, not you, me. You was known all around. You was known all around the city. Um, you know what I'm saying? At PPO, everybody was coming to see the D boy, D we white running back. You know what I'm saying? That was. Tearing everybody up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's um, what I was known as. Yeah. As a young kid, as a young kid, um, how how how, how did your how did you deal with that that type of uh? It was, kind of, it was kind of famous, to be honest with you. I didn't really notice it honestly. I was a little like too young to realize. I was just going out playing ball and putting yeah. everything off to the side. Yeah. So you didn't really you didn't pay attention. Then you fast forward, you went up to Saint, to St. Thomas and um. How did your recruitment happen in high school? In high school, did you get recruited right off the bat? Did it take time? Did you have to wait behind somebody? Explain uh, that. I got my first offer uh, after my freshman year from FAU. Uh-huh. Uh, so I wouldn't say it took too long, but once the first one came, a lot more started to come. You know how that goes. Um, uh-huh. But then I started, I got most of them when I went to St. Thomas. Um, and I had like I started to get like three in one day. And then that was like my spring of my before my junior year. So your and your so your recruitment, your recruitment in high school did it come down to like three schools at the end? What what schools did it come down to? How did it work out? In the end? I was committed to Illinois for a while, um, mm-hmm. and then I was uh, at the end. It started to get real like real hectic because I had a big senior year, um, like player of the year, and uh, yeah, yeah. State, we won states. And you so, can't explain uh, how. You came to Trash Power, yeah. right? Who, you had a game against who in Trash Power? Was Booker T? Who was it? Booker T. You, you like ran. You had a, how many yards you had? Like one eighty. Yeah, they couldn't. They couldn't stop you, bro. But this is what I didn't understand. All right, <laughs> I didn't understand. Explain this to me. They couldn't stop you, but then like the next series they will come in, and you guys will have another running back in the game. Um, yeah. and then you come back like at the next, and I didn't understand that. Yeah, I didn't either. <laughs> I wish I, I wish I'd give you an answer on that one. But, <laughs> oh, I mean, I thought that was like the rotation that y'all had, but it didn't yeah, make we, sense to me because I was like, man, they can't, they can't stop him. And this was like surreal. We was looking at, it was like, damn, they can't stop him. But then you come back, and then y'all have another running back in the game. It's almost like the NFL, man, like the rotation that St. Thomas had or something. I don't know, bro. Yeah, yeah, no, it was. Uh, we had a good rotation, but. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that game was unfortunate. But um, what was the question again? Yeah, so I, no, I was just trying to figure out the rotation in that game. I was trying to figure out the rotation in that game. Oh yeah. So listen, so 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 end up your last three, you ended up with how many at the end? You had to choose between which college. Uh, the end was really between Illinois and my hometown Miami because they came on me super super late, and uh, it's my hometown, and I was like really really, really? yeah. I didn't- was, oh, yeah, dog. I didn't know Miami jumped in your recruitment at the end. It was super low key. It was like two weeks before signing day. Oh, it sounds like Miami, dog. Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> no, I was like that's not Miami. Dis- <laughs> that was disrespectful. It sounds like Miami. That's, so, so they jumped in real late, and they kind of, and you thought about it. Yeah, I definitely thought about it. Staying home was, you know, like cool, would have been cool for me, but uh, I just felt like it was a little bit of disrespect. So. I stuck with my loyalty and uh, went to Illinois, and uh, I don't regret it at all. So, so who did – okay, at this, man, that, that, that's when – listen, you heard that first on football bill here, man. Epstein almost went to play for University of Miami, man. That was the first time I heard that story. So you yeah, go on, so you on to college, and now you get to college, and now it's a, a adjustment period, right? Yeah, for sure. Wow, talk, talk to me about it. You get there and it's like, uh, no, I'm not the coach that's recruiting you no more. I'm the coach that's going to tell you, get your ass in there. And you know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's different now, yeah, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's like, I mean, they go from, like, doing anything you want, you know, just to get you on campus and, like, being your best friend. But uh, my coaches were uh, pretty honest the whole time, so I respected that. So um, yeah. when I got there, it wasn't too much of a change. But you could definitely tell a little bit, you know, it's a business. Uh, college it's a football is a business. Yeah, I'm glad, so. I'm glad, yeah, I'm glad you said that. MD two, I mean, somebody asked down there. Somebody asked because they said, "What's what, what's playing D one like?" They want to know what's playing D one like. Man, it's cool. It's, I mean, everything you could, like dream of for real. I mean, playing in front of a lot of people, 
uh, all the fans and just big time atmosphere. But it's a lot of work. That a lot of people don't see, and like the business side of it is like a lot of people don't realize that. Okay, K K K forty four. Say, what was your focus going into your junior year? I guess you're talking about what's your focus. You're talking about what's your focus this year? I guess. Oh man, just taking care of my body, man. Right now, staying safe. Uh, but hopefully, we have a football <laughs> season, man. And, uh, just trying to have the best year and go to the Rose Bowl this year. It's a big year for us. So, I mean, you think it's possible that we don't have football? Like, you heard anybody say that? I heard Kirk Herbstreit say that. And Kirk Herbstreit. Like, everybody yeah. heard Kirk Herbstreit say that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everybody heard Kirk Herbstreit. And he made some sense. I mean, it made some sense. That would just devastate you, won't it? Oh, yeah. That would kill. I don't even know what would. I think the world would end before that happened. <laughs> I could understand that. So listen. So now you're at Illinois. You finally get adjusted. Um, and what what was the biggest year you had at Illinois? The your most successful year? Uh, my sophomore year. Um, my you, freshman and sophomore year, really. Uh -huh. but I they got cut. They both got cut short because my I had injury. But I mean, like my freshman year, I was uh, I led the team in rushing and touchdowns. So I had a pretty good freshman year. Um, on pace to break the record for my most rushing yards by a freshman. And then uh, I got hurt. And the sophomore year, I came back. Uh, I mean, I've been averaging like six point nine, seven yards a carry. So, really? uh, yeah, that's my yeah, my average is like six point five yards per carry for my career so far. Wow! Compare that to somebody. Like, say, let's say, uh, do you know about anybody else average? Like, um, who's the best running backs coming out now? Um, who's some of the top running backs that's going to NFL now? Like, what's what's the? That sounds like a lot. That sounds like a lot of yards, bro. It is pretty good, yeah. Yeah, yeah so, I know it was pretty good. It's, I mean, uh, it was like up there for at least. I was like first or second in the Big Ten. Um, exactly. That's a that's a lot of yards. That's that's a lot of yeah. yards. And then you got hurt again. Yeah, then I got hurt, and then last year I came back and I got hurt the first game of the year, so I missed the whole year. So I registered that year because I still have so a year available. On the football field, you're what sophomore? Uh, next year I'll be a junior. You'll be, this will be your junior year, so you got two more years to play. Yeah. So is, is it so 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 is it as cool like the kids think it is that you get the gloves you want, you get all the socks you want, you, know, you get all the cool stuff? You, is it really like that, or you got to go walk into an office and sign for it? And like, how does no, it work? Like that. It's definitely it like that. You get you get a lot of stuff, um, but it comes with a lot of work too. You know, you, you gotta they'll give you what you need. You know, I haven't bought cleats and gloves since like junior year of high school. But um, you get you get all you want, but you gotta put some work in with that. It's, you know, the business side of it. Right. E explain the work. You wake up in the morning. What time? Seven. Uh, six thirty. Seven o'clock. And then y'all do what? Uh, during the season, we practice seven thirty to nine thirty. Uh huh. And then we got classes starting at eleven, and then probably a couple classes a day. And then you sometimes you lift twice a week, so some days you lift, and then you have meetings four to six p.m. every night, and you got dinner, and then you got homework, and then you repeat every day. I heard it get, I heard it get rough in the off season though. I heard the off oh, season. Oh yeah. <laughs> like camp, <laughs> camp, yeah, the camp's camp. the worst part. Explain it. Explain it to them. Let, let them know. Camp. Because some of them don't understand what hard work is. You hear me, Mike? Like yeah, they, they think they're either. working hard because it's hot in Miami and the sun is out, but they don't understand yeah. what work is like um explain to them camp camp is a uh, it's like a month three weeks to a month of uh -huh. straight football no class so it's only football you got no excuses to go to class or nothing so they know that and you just wake up seven o'clock pretty much every day and you don't get back till 10 p.m but you got you wake up you eat breakfast um you got practice like eight to ten eight to ten thirty uh you get you get like hour break and you got lunch and then you got meetings from like two to four, walkthroughs from like four to five. Um, you eat dinner, and you got meetings from like seven thirty to nine thirty. Go home to a hotel, um, and then you wake up again and do it all over again. Bro, what time did you wake up that morning? Like six forty-five, probably. And you had meetings until nine o'clock that night. Nine thirty, ten o'clock, yeah. It's no joke. For free gloves and socks, dog. God, hey, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. That's it. That's, I'm sure y'all lose a few players in that in that process, bro. That that's that's that that takes some discipline. That takes some dedication. Yeah, a lot of people uh, don't make it through camp. That's when you know if they're really about it. 
Right, 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 right. So listen, man, I've been trying to get you on here forever, man. I want to have a weekly show with you, man, when you come over here and talk to the kids. Um, I, I haven't, like I told you before, I've been covering you since you was a little kid playing with Jaden you know, and all of them. And I haven't yeah. heard, I haven't really heard you talk like that. You know what I'm saying? The only time we talk is on text. Uh, yeah, anything yeah. you can to the kids, man, because uh, a lot of them have no clue what they, what, what, what they, they want to go D1, but they have no clue what they're getting themselves into. Um, tell them something before we get off here, bro. Uh, just, I mean, keep working hard. I promise. Like, I was once that person on this, watching somebody talk about it. So, I mean, it can happen to anybody. And uh, just do the right things, man. And it'll all work out. Stay patient. And I mean, once you get there, just take advantage of it and work hard for real, because uh, that's that'll put you in the best situation. But just know uh, it gets serious. It gets real. So make sure it's what you want to do. There it is, man. Here we go, man. Mike FC, man. The best light skin running back, man, I ever saw a place before. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. I appreciate you, bro.